dapat lebih memahami lebih mendalam lagi dengan cara banyak yang sangat-sangat mudah untuk semua faham. Apa yang dia ajar dia tak ditunggu dan sampai sekarang dia masih terbaik. Yang sekarang ni lebih baguslah, lebih advance Dan saya rasa ada satu benda yang berbeza Kita boleh nampak trik dan cara yang mudah Guessing the market, here's how you should trade. Everybody is guessing the market. <coughs> like just now I asked you, where's the market gonna go next week? So, is it, isn't that guessing? Is it guessing? Yeah. So, how, how you should trade? 
So I'm going to tell you today, okay? So let's play a game, a simple game. Is it okay? Yeah. So from this game, there are a lot of lessons. I think around five lessons you can learn. So the game is called Buy or Sell. So let's begin. So trade number one. Can you guys at the back see? Can you see, eh? clearly? Eh? Okay, at the back, raise your right hand, please. Raise your right hand. Okay, raise your left hand at the back. Okay, so you guys are listening to me well. Okay, simple. Buy or sell? How many people say buy? Raise your hand. Uh, straight a bit, eh? I want to see. Okay, how many of you think it's going to sell? It's going to go down? Okay, how many of you don't know what to do? Okay, go a few, huh? So who say buy just now? Congratulations, okay, give, give a round of applause. Save your hand, okay? So let's make this entertaining. Uh, I, I want you guys to participate, okay? Because you're going to learn a lot of things today. All right, number two. So you see the price has already touched the support. So that's what you see. So are you going to buy or sell? Who's going to buy? Raise your hand. Buy. Okay. Who's going to sell? Raise your hand. Huh? When I ask, you just raise your hand. Okay, those who buy more than those who sell. Okay, who's still going to buy? Raise your hand. Who's still going to sell? Who's now from buy, change to sell? Or from sell, change to buy? So who sell? Okay, give, clear, clear, clear your hand. Okay. So you see the price? Uh, okay, the moral, eh? if you see this kind of pattern, when the support has been tested a lot of time and the price didn't bounce, usually, eventually, there will be a breakout. Once the price breakout, don't buy anymore. You just shift your mode to selling mode. Oh, by the way, uh, if you notice how I wear, Captain America shirt, eh? because now it's Avengers Endgame fever, correct or not? So I just suit to the team, lah. Okay, but after 2 p.m. I'll change to my normal suit. So if you want to take photo proper photo with me, you take after 2 p.m. Lah. Okay, this is uh, how you trade. So after breakout, you just wait a retest at the breakout area. Sell. Number three, very simple. I really, really hope you guys get this right. Very simple. I already tell you there's a double top hit. There's a left shoulder, there's a right shoulder. And the price has broken the last spot. How many of you are going to buy? Raise your hand. How many of you are going to sell now? Raise your hand. How many of you don't care? <laughs> <laughs> this uh, lot size, uh, minimum 10 lot size. No? One dollar, uh, sorry, one hundred dollar per pip. Okay, so a lot of people got this right. So the moral, uh, if it's clear, don't hesitate. But still, watch your risk. So I can see that for this setup, I can say that eighty percent will say sell. But the rest before, maybe like 30, 30 70 or sixty forty. All right. There's a fake breakout at the bottom, trade number four. Okay, and then the resistor has been tested for the fourth time. And the price didn't manage to create a new lower low point. And then it creates a higher low before trying to breach the resistance again. Who's going to buy? Raise your hand. Okay. Who's going to sell? Because they think when a resistance is hard to break, then eventually the price will reject. How many of you think it's going to go down after that? Raise your hand. Jangan malu, jangan malu. Raise your hand straight. Alright. Okay, come with me. Huh? One, two, three. Okay, go. One, two, three. So, 
Remember, when there's, uh, I just uh, I already told you just now, when there's a support or resistance has been tested a lot of time, it will become weaker. Think of it as a ceiling. You keep on punching the ceiling, eventually the ceiling will bocho. Or be, it will be B. It will be penetrated. And last one. Last one. Okay. Whoever got this right, it's like the, the god of trading. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Who's got... Uh, I explained the flow. The, uh, the price has been very bullish. And then there's a deep retracement. The price created a double bottom at this uh, supply or uh, demand area. <coughs> eh, demand or supply? Eh? Ah, either way, lah, it's okay. Sometimes I forgot. It's okay. Okay, now there's a double bottom and the price seems like it's going to go back up. Seems, huh? I say seems like it's going to go back up. Who's going to buy now? Raise your hand. Straight, huh? Straight. Because I want to see. Because cameraman also want to see. Okay. Who's going to sell? Raise your hand. Okay, huh? Wait, huh? I ask. Yeah. Why you want to sell? Yes. Yeah. Reversal candle. This one, this one. Oh, because of that. Okay. I, I, I've met you, right, before? Yeah, yeah. That's why. I look familiar. Alright. Okay, huh? uh, again, huh? who says buy? Raise your hand. Straight. Who says sell? Raise your hand. Who don't know what to do? Raise your hand. Buy and sell. Buy and sell together. You, you still lost because, because of the spread. <laughs> okay, now, the, the story has not yet finished. So now, who's going to sell? Raise your hand. Okay. Who's going to buy? Raise your hand. Well, I, I can see that 10 people sell, 5 people buy. The rest? Confused. Kau dah MC. <laughs> okay, okay. So sell lah. I take it as sell lah. Okay. So the price move back in, and then seems like it's gonna go down again. All right. So where the price goes after that? Okay. Count down with me. One, two, three. Boom. It's gonna up. And why I put USD cat? Because USD CAD always happens this way. So that's why I don't really trade USD CAD. I do trade, but I don't trade that much. So th that's why I say, if you got this right, then you are the god of trading. So you can, <laughs> you don't need to trade. Okay? So what are the lessons from the game? The market can only go up or down. There's no way it can go. So your option can weigh only three, which are what? Okay, say it loud. What is it? Nothing or no trade. There's always three options. You don't have any other option. Huh? Cut loss. Belum trade macam mana? Cut loss. Alright. So this is important. There's always buyers who think the market will go up and sellers who think the market will go down. Same chart but different interpretation. People will say buy and then I always ask back, why? Same goes to sell. If you want to sell, why? We call this RTB and RTB, RTS, which is reasons to buy or reasons to sell. So just like in this room, but as you buy or sell, you can see maybe 40% says buy, 40% say sell, 20% MC. <laughs> Don't know what to do. However, only your choice that matters. Because in trading, it's only you and the market and your chart or your smartphone or your screen. There's no one else that can influence you to buy or sell unless, unless you join a lot of signal group. WhatsApp group, Telegram group, Facebook group. So one pair, every say, everybody say, okay, buy. This one says sell. So you just follow. But then if you have suffer losses, who's going to bear the loss? 
They will just say, tak ada rezeki. In Malay, they say lah, tak ada rezeki. So you already lost $1,000. They say, tak ada rezeki. So who's going to refund back you? Nobody's going to refund you back. And then your chance of winning or losing is always 50%. Because if you buy, the price goes down. If you sell, the price goes up. So you can always be right 50% or you are wrong 50%. And lastly, you can never be right all the time. So sometimes you win, sometimes you not lose. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. And in trading, you only need four wins out of ten trades. How many? Four wins out of ten trades in order to, for you to make a net profit. Or 40% win ratio. I'm going to show you how. Okay, now I'm going to go about me and also some introduction about myself. Who's here first time heard about me? Raise your hand. Who's this fella wearing some funny shirt on the stage? Uh, raise your hand again. I want to see. Oh, I mean, still got people, uh, so means I need to do more marketing. Uh. <laughs> okay, who's here already know me but first time seeing me live? Raise your hand. Okay, so I, don't, I think I don't need to do more marketing. I just need to do more public event thing. Who here have met me once before? Oh, not so many. Okay, so I need to meet more people, I think. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, my name is Kali Ahmed. Again, people call me MK, which stands for? What does it stand for, MK? Huh? Yeah, Mr. Khalid. Not master, eh? Master is like Sifu. Ah. I'm not a Sifu. Just call me Mr. Khalid or MK. So this is the first book I authored, which is called Tending Forex Bena. Before last year, we rebranded to CFS Price Action Trading. The main reason why is, is because we are going to teach other things as well, such as stock trading, Bursa Malaysia. So that's why we, we rebrand. Because that, it will sound funny, when your brand is standing for it now, but then you teach about stock trading. It's like contradict, right? So when you, when you rebrand to price action trading, so it can be anything, global stocks, Malaysia stock, forex, options, and all that. But as for me, I will only focus on forex trading and uh, Malaysia stocks. So this is my stats. So I can say that I'm one of the most followed traders in Malaysia and maybe the whole world. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Lah. So I got 35,000 personal followers. Our page got 106,000 likes. Organic, eh? not buy one. Eh? Uh, I tak tipu punya. Eh? And then our group, our private group currently got 9,000 over members. And our YouTube subscriber got 13,000 subscribers. And then, my Instagram follower around 8,000, not, not that much. Our, our TFS price section Instagram were around almost 4,000. Twitter follower, I think five, because I just started. Uh, Trading view follower is around 100. So make sure you follow all our, our available channels. So this is me back in 2016, the first one our biggest workshop ever, which is around 200 plus uh, participants. The middle one is Nawasin KK, Kota Kinabalu. So I've been teaching for to, from 2012. I've been doing class for 2000, since 2012, but then I stopped in 2017 to focus on a lot of things, and also on my trading myself. Okay, this is a question with present. Huh? Stand by, eh? Okay. Who can guess where is this? Raise your hand and answer. Who can guess where is this? It's a city. So tell me. Raise your hand. If you want to answer and win prizes. I teka lah, senang aja. Kuala Lumpur. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Yes, sir. Kuala Lumpur. From? Okay, who else want to try? Uh, okay, the one in front. Kota Kinabalu is the middle one. So wrong. It's the bottom one. Uh, the bottom one is the question. At the back, yes? 
BJ from where? Yeah. Where is right? Okay, uh, this one black black color shirt. Sorry, Kluang, Kluang, huh? Kluang, Kluang. Eh? Okay, <laughs> okay, salah lah. Eh? Okay, who else? Who else? I take another two lah, another two. Okay, sir. Yeah, wrong. Okay, last one. Eh? Last one. Okay, the one that's standing up. Brunei Darussalam. Yes, salah. <laughs> But very close. Okay, I really close. Ah, huh? really close. Okay, the answer is maybe, maybe. There's only two states, ah, huh, in Malaysia, I've never done class, which is the Greece Milan, and there's one more. Who can guess? You win prize. Okay. Yes. Give it. Uh, give it. Clap. 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 One point. Give him a round of applause. Adia. 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 Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, give him one present. Ah. Where, where is it? Angkat tangan? Ah, okay. So don't worry, banyak lagi ada. If the price, if the prizes has finished, I'll give you capital. Okay or not? <laughs> Serious? Ah? Serious? I'm not, I'm not kidding. Ah. Serious? Ah? Okay or not? Okay. Ah? Ten dollar. Ah. <laughs> Forty ringgit. Okay lah. Macam-macam boleh beli. Ah. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, so I've been stopping doing workshop for the past two years. But in June, we'll be running another, a new, a brand new masterclass in June, which I'm going to tell you more later. So just want to tell you that last year, tepuk dulu, tepuk dulu, okay. So last year, we won two awards at the Traders Awards uh, event. So for 2018, we are voted as the best trading guru in Malaysia. One and the second one is the best uh, trading FB community in Malaysia. So we are we won two awards and that's the trophies. It's an international award. So we are very honored to receive this award and hope this year we're gonna win one more award. So we total becomes three. So don't forget to vote for us, okay? Boleh ah? Vote ah? Okay. So how many of you have seen this billboard? This one? Oh, you have seen it? Oh. <laughs> huh? Oh, it says for. Oh. So, <laughs> so I say this year or maybe next year we're gonna go a bit more aggressive. So, but then this one is just Photoshop lah. <laughs> just for your info. So it's just a Photoshop. <laughs> Uh, that's why I asked who have who have seen this, but then this guy said in Facebook, uh, so betul lah, because it's just Photoshop. So this is me when I was working with the bank in 2008 until 2012. So just for your info, 2008 until 2012, I worked in a bank called HSBC. I've been to Hong Kong for two weeks for training, and also I've been to London for one month for training. Or oh, best, everything sponsored. One month, say London. Siapa nak? But it would be better if it's not uh, it's not under your company. You go on your own leisure. Betul tak? Uh, you can you know go everywhere you want in London. And I really like London, one of the city I like. Or oh, just for your info, I've been to I think almost uh, 20 countries. Not that much lah. Uh, 10% from the total countries in the world. Uh. So that's me, so I quit in 2012. I never worked since, until now. So I, I, because I already told my boss, once I resign, I won't be working for someone else. Because my boss afraid that I go to a competitor like Stancha, OCBC and all that. So I said, no, I'm not going anywhere else. I resigned for good. And thank God for after seven years, I'm still not working for anyone yet. Yeah. So I work with HSBC, eh? Okay, there are four lessons I'm gonna pass now. So how's this forex trading slide? Forex trading is like riding a motorbike. It's risky, but it can be managed, can be controlled. It's fast and furious, but it can be controlled. Not everybody dies riding a motorbike, like me, you see? Nice, nice bike or not? Sold already, after three months. <laughs> Sakit belakang. <laughs> and then it's like driving. You need a license. You cannot drive without a license. Because by getting license, 
you are so, sort of qualified. So you got the knowledge to drive. You know all the, the traffic rules. And then you need to drive for maybe a few years. Then only you get used to it. Then you get, uh, you're going to be good at driving. So these are my cars. But same. Already sold. <laughs> I sold one. Ah. I still keep the Mercedes. I sold the Mini Cooper. I got another two motorbikes. Then I sold that one also. So now I only left with one car and one motorbike. Because as a trader and also those who work from home, I don't travel a lot. So I have a, if, even if I have two or three cars, I won't be driving much. So it's really a waste. So that's why I just keep one car and one uh, and one motorbike. But the motorbike is not in there. However, I got six properties. Okay lah. So I, I, I got six houses. This is one of them. This is where I'm staying right now. So another five planning to for my investment. Because I don't have EPF. Sian <coughs> kan? I don't have KWSP. So I only have the property as my future for retirement. Okay, who knows this guy? Raise your hand. You don't know. Just now you saw the video, right? Cik Fazrin ada tak sini? Tak nampak lah. Angkat tangan, Fazrin. Because he said, he told me he's coming. So if he comes, you ask him lah. Because he just, just now he said he won 127,000 US, right? So suruh dia belanja lah. Coffee ke apa. <laughs> okay. And then this is, oh sorry, sorry. Oh, belum lagi. Ah. So this is Mr. Kenny from Rakuten Trade. He's the head of research. So why I show you this photo? It's not because I want to show them. I want to show myself. <laughs> you see the difference? So, trading is like that. You need to do it yourself. Everybody can tell you how to lose weight. They tell you, sit up, and take care of your diet, you jogging, you jog, and all that. But, they can tell you, but it's up to you whether you could do it or not. Someone else cannot do it for you. Correct? Correct or not? Agree? How many of you agree? Raise your hand. So I managed to lose around 15 kg from 86 kilo to current weight is around 70. Because I want to show you this is trading. Because nobody is going to tell you what to do. You have to do it yourself. Alright? Uh, okay. Avengers is a team. Correct right? You see my shirt, huh? Avengers, kan? Right? Avengers is a team. Ramai ramai. You got Black Panther and all that. But trading is not like that. Trading is like who? Uh, Captain Marvel lah, sorang-sorang <laughs> Sorang-sorang habis tapau semua uh, Just kidding eh Okay, last one is like planting trees You need time for it, for your trees to grow and produce fruits So you cannot expect you can get the benefit from trading in a short period of time It, it really takes time to brush your skills, your knowledge and also your experience Then from there, then only you can make money so please don't expect you can make money within one month or three months and all that. Those are really beginner's luck. I always hear about that. Oh, one, one month learning, one month learning, already profit 100 cent. After three months, MC. You will be asked, be asked, really be asked. I'll show you, I have a lot of things to show you. Huh? So you see. So this is the last workshop that I attend in Singapore. Uh, it's by Mr. Roth and Moritz from Trade Society. It's really, it's really, really good. You know, joining a workshop is really highly encouraged, especially for traders. Because from joining workshop, you get more insights, then you get questions, you get to see, you get to see up close how does trading actually works, and especially <laughs> learning from someone far from Germany, eh? they came all the way to Singapore, so I take the so I take the time to attend. How many of you want to know how much I pay to attend? How many of you want to know how much I pay? Ah, later I tell you. <laughs> later. So this is the workshop environment. So if you want guys want to learn more about trading, I highly encourage you to learn from them. You can go to tradesite.com. TradeSite.com Okay, there are three parts of trading that you need to master. The first one is technical skills. 
The second one is you need to manage your risk. And once you control these two, the third one will be automatically taken care of, which is the psychology and emotions part. You only become emotional in trading when either your technical skill is out or your risk management is out. If you take care of your technical and also risk management, your emotion will be okay. Why are you emotional when you trade? One reason is because you over trade. Your capital is 100, but then you put $5 per pip. So within 20 pip, you already, you already suffer total loss. Before this, huh? before this, oh, sorry. Okay, before this, I put here technical and fundamental. How many of you read fundamental news? Raise your hand. Not that many. Huh? How many of you, okay, I say the question. How many of you doesn't read fundamental news? Raise your hand. Oh, not many. Huh? Malas. Huh? Malas ke tak faham? Okay, now I take out the fundamental equation. We only focus on technical skill. And actually, you don't need to read the news at all. Trust me. You just focus on your technical skill. Once your technical skill is good, you can ignore news. I don't know what happens to UK or Brexit. I really no, have no idea. But I still can make profit. Do you think if you are good in fundamental, you read all the central bank report, you read all the daily affair, Bloomberg and all this, you still think you can make money? You will still lose money. It's the same thing. Correct or not? You still lose money. Because maybe your risk management you didn't take care of or your technical skill. So now, I make life easier for you. You don't need to read any news. And you still can make profit. That's what matters. Correct? Okay, how many level of traders there are? Beginner? Or newbie? Or in Malay, we call new buy? <laughs> new buy. Okay, second one is intermediate. And number three is advanced. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. But I don't believe in that. I only believe there's only two levels. The first level is what we call the person who makes money. The second level, can you guess it? Why is it? The person who loses money. <laughs> That's it. Because you can be an advanced trader. You know everything. You have been learning to trade about 10 years. More than 10 years. I've seen this kind of guy. More than 10 years trading. Never make money. Never withdraw even one time. But people like Fazrin, just now, the world champion, who claim he's my student. He claim, ah. I malu nak claim now. I don't like to play, oh, this guy's my student, oh, this guy's my student, no. I'm very shy. I'm very shy because everything comes from God. I may be mad, I may be hell of it. So he, he been trading for just around three years. But he's a world champion. You can see there are people who have been trading seven or maybe ten years, but still never get to withdraw even one time. Do you agree? Have you seen this, this kind of people? Yes. So there's only two levels. Whether the trader will <coughs> sorry. Whether the trader makes money or the trader lose money. Or in in short, whether he's a winner or whether he's a loser. That's the only two levels that you need to know. Okay, why you should become a trader? Who here have not been trading? Haven't started trading? Raise your hand. Oh, oh, only a few, eh? Apa nak trade, eh? Excuse me, eh? I need to drink. <coughs> oh, how many of you haven't watched Avengers in game? Raise your hand. Last kali semua mati. Okay, don't believe me lah. I don't want to spoil. That's why I just make a joke of it. Uh, go, go and watch. <coughs> I really watch one time. <laughs> okay, why should we come trading? How many of you have been trading for it? Already started? Doesn't care one month, three months? Raise your hand. Okay. Why you should become a trader? 
Okay, the first one is flexible. You can do it anytime, anywhere, and any amount. You can start with hundred dollar, fifty dollar, whatever. So you only need internet and a gadget. A gadget can be your own PC, your own laptop, or smartphone, or maybe tablet. So it's flexible. You can do it anytime, anywhere, and any amount. I've been to. How many of you know Zermatt? Zermatt. Have you guys heard of Zermatt? You don't know where Zermatt is. Zermatt, Kelantan. <laughs> no lah. Zermatt is in Switzerland, at the Matterhorn. On top of Matterhorn, by internet, I managed to trade and make profit. Not much lah, around thousand dollar. Still okay. So as long as you got internet and also you got a device, you still can make money on the go. And then it depends entirely on you. No one else will influence your success or your failure, except yourself. It entirely depends on you. You, you do it the right way, you you will make money. Okay, no boss, no employee, no staff, nobody will, nobody will affect you. There are only three parts: you, the market, and one more. Sometimes will. Cause you trouble. What is it? Huh? Tax authority? No. Broker. Broker. Yeah, broker. Cause sometimes you open a broker which just open like one one month. Then after that they scam you. You belum trade just a lot. <laughs> so watch out your broker. As long as you use a the correct broker, you don't have to hurry. Then it requires little time and effort. You don't need. You don't need to. Uh, there's no hard labor, so it requires little time and effort. But it requires you little time and effort only once you've mastered it, and then you just do the same thing over and over again. It's repetition. You do the same thing over and over again once you are good at it, and <coughs> you'll make money along the way. And then lastly. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth one is tax free. You know why it's tax free? A lot of people say because it's income from overseas. Actually, it's wrong. It's tax free because it's capital gain. So in Malaysia law, so far, so far lah, under the new government, capital gain is still not taxable. We are talking about uh, forex or stock trading. It's not taxable, but Property, you have real property against tax, RPGT. But for trading, there's no tax. How many of you like to pay tax? Oh, no, yeah, but oh, this throat near rakyat lah. But yeah, you see, I slightly. I've paid last time. Ah, I I've paid one hundred twenty-six thousand tax. So I curse the government. So then, ah, then I think back. I want a good road, you know, good lightings on the road. Uh, one nice landscape done by the government. So if the if the citizen doesn't contribute, how does the government can do all this? So I think of it that way, lah. Okay, tax free, and then requires little time. I forgot to mention. Nowadays, if you want to do part time business, it takes a lot of time, and it requires a lot of parties. You have your suppliers, clients, customers. What else? Uh, And all other things, but in trading, it's only you, and it only needs a little time and effort, and you can start with any capital you want. So that's why becoming a trader is a really, really good business. Okay, ten little big things. So it's contradict, little but big things that will affect your trading. How many are you ready? Angkat tangan. Raise your hand if you are ready for this. Semua, I want to see everybody raise your hand. Okay, thank you. Ah, uh, those who standing eh, in front got two more seats or oh, three more seats. Got is it empty? I think so. Oh, today full house, huh? Berapa orang? Huh? Is it two hundred? Okay, ten little big things that will affect your trading. There are ten things that you can you can be right. So that your trading will be good. 
So what other days that you need to trade? You just focus on Tuesday until Friday. You don't need to trade on Monday. Because on Monday, because of the weekend, on Monday usually the activity will be slow. The market doesn't move much. I'm going to show you later. Second, what other time that you need to trade? The simplest way to tell this is you trade after London Open. London Open continues to US Open and then after US Open, usually the market will slow down. But that's the best thing about living in Malaysia because at 12 a.m. you already go to sleep. But like me, I always sleep at 2 a.m. So uh, when we, uh, during the market active hours, which is from uh, around 4 p.m., uh, 8 p.m. onwards, you already finished working. So you still can focus on your work and also your trading. So this is what I want to prove to you. So if you see the, when the price moves outside of the active hours, like in the morning of Malaysia time, it only moves like 10 pips, 10 pips in four hours. Very, very minimal. But if you open the chart, when it's in active hours, can move 47 pips in 4 hours. So that's like 4 or 5 times volume compared to the morning session of Malaysia time. So what time you need to focus? Very simple. After 4 or after 8. The best is always after 8. After US session, then you have the news at 8.30 or 9.30 p.m. Then the market will start to move. Alright, what are the paths that you need to trade? How many of you wants to make a lot of money from trading? Wah, tak ramai lah. <laughs> Bapa nak kaya, betul? Bukan boleh bawa mati lah. <laughs> okay. You just focus on the major pairs. This is the easiest way to profit. Cross pairs, very, very difficult to profit. Because most pairs are paired with USD. Pairs that are paired with USD are really the movement is smooth. You can, it's predictable, it's easier for you to see where the, the price is going to go compared to cross pair. If you take, let's say, GBP, JPY, it depends. GBP, USD, and USD, JPY. Which one will follow? You can never tell. So it's easier for you to focus on major pairs if you want to make a profit easier compared to the other pairs. Okay, now, there are few brokers. Some broker, their chart starts at maybe 8 a.m. Some start at 5 a.m. Some start at 6 a.m. So which one should you use? Which one should you use? 8. 8, 5, 6, doesn't matter. <laughs> 3 doesn't matter. So just use one broker chart consistently. Because sometimes, you use 5 a.m. chart compared with 8 a.m. 5 a.m. gives you buy signal. Uh, 8 a.m. gives you sell signal. Contradict. But then next time, the 8 a.m. gives you the correct signal. The 5 a.m. gives you the false signal. So it's always, uh, there will be times this broker gives you valid signal. There are times the other broker gives you false signal. So doesn't matter. You just use one broker chart consistently. Time frame. What time frame you should use? Very important. How many of you say daily? Raise your hand. Daily. How many of you say weekly? Weekly. Need 1,000 people per week. Eh? <laughs> How many of you say one hour? H1. Okay. How many of you M1? One minute. Okay, I'm going to share my answer. And my answer is based on experience. And, and you just need to use one time frame will do. You don't need to use multiple time frame. Last time I used to do multiple time frame. From daily, uh, sorry, from weekly, daily, H4, H1, up to M15. But now I only use one. And it's been working very well for me. And the time frame is H4. 
you use if uh, you use for our chart will do. You don't need to change to other. Just like the sample I showed you before, the game that we played just now is H4. I don't use any other time frame anymore. <coughs> okay, when to look at the chart? So what time? What time should I look the chart every day? <coughs> when the time frame has already closed. Like myself, I use a 5 a.m. broker. So I only check the chart at 1 p.m., 5 p.m., 9 p.m. And 1 a.m. if I still not asleep. If I already sleep, I will stop at 9 p.m. So what time you should look at your broker is when the candle has closed. I'm going to demonstrate to you later. So you just remember this one first, okay? Okay? I don't know why my voice is losing. Uh, maybe I fought too much uh, during Avengers. <laughs> okay, swing or scalp? Swing, scalp, day trade, position trade. This is the answer. Learn to swing first. <coughs> Then you'll know how to scalp. A lot of traders are mistaken by they become a scalper. Okay, they profit. 5p, 3p, 5p, 3p, 10p. Then when they lose, they lose 100 pips. And one flush. You know, like the toilet flush? Yeah, like that. Flush all the profits. Because they start with becoming a scalper. When you become a scalper, it's very, very stressful. Trust me. It's very stressful that you need to keep on monitoring the market. But when you know, you learn how to swing first. You know how to trade the slow and steady way. Eventually, you will know how to scalp. That's what will happen. So, you learn how to swing first, then you know how to scalp. Does it make sense? Yeah. You guys, guys understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But if you don't want to scalp, it's okay. You just focus on becoming a swing trader. Day trade sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Position trade, that one is for stock trading. Not for forex. Number eight, leverage. One thousand to one, okay? Uh? Or two thousand to one. Now got three thousand to one. But actually, you only need one hundred to one maximum. Don't use more than that. Because the more you leverage, the more you will trade with bigger lot sizes, or in shorter term we call it over trading. So over trading will definitely hurt your account, which I will show you later. Then how much to risk? Each trade don't take more than three percent per trade. Even with one percent per trade, I can show you that you can become rich. You want to know or not? Yeah. How are you? How many of you want to become rich? Rich in what? <laughs> huh? Ah. <laughs> uh. So be careful if people ask you that. You need to ask back. Rich in what? Rich in trouble? Rich in problems? <laughs> rich in money? Okay, the lower the better because your account will survive longer. Most traders didn't survive too long because one time lost, 30% gone. Three times in a row, you are gone. You are, off, you are out of the game. But if you reach 3%, you can do your own math. 33 times consecutive losses, then only you will be wiped out of the market. Correct or not? But then why people still risk 10% or more per trade? Because of greed. There are four emotional, or there are four emotions in trading. Greed, hope, what else? Fear, and remorse. Remorse is Regret. These are the four emotions in trading. You guys know about FOMO? You know what's FOMO? Yeah. F-O-M-O. Who knows FOMO? I give you a prize. Yes, sir. Fear of missing out. Yes. Give a, give a, give a uh, round of applause. Okay, what, what prize we have for him? Oh, it's a cap. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I have a question. Okay, I have a question. Huh? Uh, who answer will get uh, you will get a present? I don't know. I don't know what present. Uh. 
the the organizer will determine. Uh. I started trading when I was 22 in 2007. How old am I now? Hey, that's the question, lah. Yes, Mesila, yeah, Mesila. Yeah, two more uh, Any prizes? Please give to the winner. Yeah, I'm 34 now. But I look like. 14. 14. <laughs> I look like 44. Sorry, kejamnya. <laughs> All right, full time or part time? Close eyes. People ask me, very simple, part time. Don't ever become a full time trader. You become a part time trader is better. It's for your psychology and also emotion. When you have two or three income, you will be. You'll be a better trader compared to if you only depend on your trading income. Trust me on this. So if you become a trader, don't just become a trader. Maybe you can become a introducing broker. Or maybe you can become a fund manager the proper way. People invest in you, maybe you get 30% commission from there if you make profit. That's the proper way to do. The improper way is people give you money, you trade. That one is improper. The correct way is People will invest to you through the broker by what they call as copy trade or uh, made, uh, PAM, uh, something like that. So it's like it's not directly to the broker. Uh, sorry, it's not directly to the trader. You invest to the broker. You can ask eToro. Uh, eToro have that kind of program. You can ask for who? eToro, the broker name. That's one of the broker. The other broker is JFD. But they may be not entertain you if you say you want to invest $50. Uh, don't laugh. <laughs> I think minimum, I think around $500 or $1,000. Okay? So how do you avoid yourself from guessing the market? Simple. Do your analysis when the time frame is closed. It means the candle has stopped moving. If you use for our chart, you only look at the chart every four hours. Like myself, like I said, I only look at the chart at 1 p.m., 5 p.m., 9 p.m. That's all. Then I look for a signal. If the signal is in line with my analysis earlier, then I will trade. If not, I will pass on the trade. Don't worry, you have 28 forex pairs. There will always be, there will always be chances for you to trade. So how does, so what does it mean by this? I'm going to show you. Are you guys ready? Yes. This is very important. Okay, this is the key of it. Stop guessing the market by waiting for the time frame to close. Okay. This is how you trade if you wait for the chart to close. So you only see this kind of way. So another four hour. Uh, sorry, let's start again. This is what you see. After four hours, if you use a four hour chart, after four hours, okay, see here, you see this, another four hour. Let's say just now stop at 9 a.m. So now it's already 1 p.m. Then next, 5 p.m. You look at the chart like this. After 5 p.m. is 9 p.m. So you see this. After 9 p.m. is 1 a.m. After 1 a.m. is 5 a.m. You already see your signal. What do you do? How many of you sell? How many of you buy? How many of you don't know what to do? Okay, who says sell just now? Raise your hand. Whoa! See? Ah, very simple. Because you see when the time frame has closed. If you see the chart, when it's not yet closed, it will become like this. This one, you know, I think, I think I take at least half an hour or one hour to do this kind of chart, you know. I don't write because they don't, because they don't have live feed. So I think orang belakang tak nampak, so I don't use the whiteboard. That's why I take the time to do the slide proper way to help my presentation. This is what happens when you don't wait for the close, okay. How many of you say buy now? Raise your hand. 
Buy. This one different chart than this one. Huh? <laughs> Why like this? Confident. In trading, you have, must have confidence. How many of you say buy? Okay, you buy. Sell? How many of you sell? Okay. Okay. Uh, I repeat, huh? look at the chart. Okay, wow. Breaking resistance. How many of you will buy now? Because you FOMO. You fear of missing out. You buy. How many of you sell? Sell at top. Wow, a lot of people sell at top. Huh? Okay. Those who buy, then suddenly, eh, maybe 15 minutes later, this is for our chart. But 15 minutes later, you check, you become like this. <laughs> so you say, oh, oh, what happened? <laughs> and then all the, all the bad words come out. Okay? So, that's why you wait for it to close. Simple. Right? Just now. If not, then you become like this. Five minutes like this. Ten minutes like this. Fifteen minutes like this. So you'll be confused. But if you just wait for the candle to close, it's already there. It's already there. Just like before. Like this. It's already there. The, the candle won't change anymore, correct? It stops there. It, it can't suddenly become a bullish candle. Cannot. It's already stopped. It's over. It's end game. It's end game. It's end game. So you just follow the candle. So you don't need to guess like this. Kejap naik, kejap turun. Jalan. Buy sell sekaligus. Siapa bagi jawapan? Buy and sell together. Okay. <coughs> so are you guys ready for the strategy? Yeah. This is strategy no one will teach you. But it's very, very simple. Anybody can understand. It's very, very simple. How many, how many of you like simple strategy but powerful and profitable? Raise your hand. Okay, thank you. Minum dulu. What time is it? Eh? Oh, I got another 45 minutes. Eh? Because <coughs> Okay, boleh tak kita bagi tepukan yang gemuruh Untuk Mr. Fazri Okay Yeah, he's at the front He's the champion He's the champion World trading champion in VIEWS in 2017. World Trading Champion. It's like Valentino Rossi, Cristiano Ronaldo, level. Okay? Ah, this is the man. This is the man in the video just now. And also, uh, the guy that took photo with me. Eh, no, no, no. Uh, the guy I took photo with when I was fat last time. So he's here. I'm very honored that he could come. Give a round of applause to him again, please. So today, still got 45 minutes left because well, from 11.45, I got, I got other things to present to you. So I'm going to share with you two strategies. The first strategy and the second strategy is linked. So please pay attention. It's, very, it's called big round number. It's a very simple strategy. So if you see, the round number is the interval of 100 pips. So let's say you start with 1.1200, 1.1300, 1 and 1.1400. So every time the price goes to the BRN, there will be reactions. So if you open the chart, the price is not at the BRN. What do you do? You just wait until the price goes to the BRN. And I'm going to demonstrate to you how. How many of you want to see? Raise your hand. I don't need a live market because of my eight years of trading, uh, sorry, eight years of teaching people, I do everything on slide only. I don't need to write. Thank you. Uh, I'm like Steve Jobs uh, for trading. <laughs> for trading. For trading. Okay, how to trade and set? Okay, let's say the current price is 1.3270. 
you just remove the last two digit, change it to zero zero, and then you add 100 bits above it, 100 bits below it. So this is a sample BRN for USC CAD. So you can see the price just play around that area. Then once it break out, the price retest the area before going back down. This is a bit complicated. I'm going to show you a simple one. So how do you trade? If the price goes to the BRM from at here, you sell. Then if it goes, you sell. But then if it's already broken out, so you just wait for it to come back to the BRN before it goes back up, so you buy. Same goes for sell. Just do it the other way. But now I'm going to show you how it works. So you can set at horizontal line parameters. But if your hand is very good, you can just drag it. My hand is not so, so, so good, lah, so I just use parameter. Not to say not good, because I do slide a lot. Lah. My hand all suck it already, so I just put in the parameters easier. So how to test next week? Next week, lah. How to tell last week? Everybody knows already, correct? Price already moved. Sudah profit, sudah loss. What's the point? Now I'm telling you next week how are you going to trade. So you look at like this. Let's say current price 7058. Next you got to do is next BRN at the top and at the bottom. So 7058, like I said, you just remove the last two digit. So you get the first BRN 7000 and 7100. You trap the price, okay? You trap the price up and down. So let's say next week the price crawl, crawl, crawl up to the up the topper, the top BRN. So you just sell. You try, but it's okay. I'm gonna show you later. And if it goes down, so you buy. Once it touch BRN, then you buy. Simple saja. But this one is a short term strategy. You can make maybe like 20 or 30 pips, but sometimes can go up to 70 or 100 pips. So it's an easy way to profit. So you can try next week.